Hey guys, welcome to my lift collection, lift parts collection display. Um, this is going to be like a different, these are all the different lift parts I've got. Now there's one lift part that's missing and that's my Dewhurst, big US 90 door open button. It's, it's gone missing somewhere. But yeah, it's the display as well as how it stands right now. So we'll take a look at this beautiful display. So we're gonna start with this. This right here is burnt out because it needs to it needs a new light bulb, but it's my four pre present like the old Svania bulb. The bulb is burnt out, so that's why it's not working. Anyway, here we'll start with the smaller parts first. We'll start off with this. This is a Dewhurst US90. Um, ground floor button which came off my little toolbox homemade homemade do have this panel that I made but I changed the um the original one for this I, I changed I changed the um this regular square ground floor button for something a bit more interesting and it's a round ground floor button over here we've got some Otis parts, these are Otis alarm button and a regular Otis ground floor button. Now you just have different, in different designs. Pretty cool. Anyway, we'll move on to over here now. We've got a Dewhurst US 90 round door open button. And next to it is actually another US 91 button, but it's actually missing the parts. It's, it's meant for show. It's what's left of the button anyway. You can see my switch there. And the button in front of that, and the button in front of that button is oh, this here is a Dewhurst US 90 vinyl resistance. Better quality than modern day Dewhurst, in my opinion. Here is a here on my free Juha US ninety buttons you can see here. Two basement buttons and, and the one number four. They're very nice buttons. Here are this thing pretty cool. This is actually not on this part, but I feel to put it there anyway. This isn't really old. Um, I believe it's wild or something like that. I can't remember who made this, but it's an old switch from an old fuse box, as you can see. That's off. That's on. Oh, one of the lift parts fell over, but yes. Well, perhaps all the lift parts are falling over. Hopefully, this whole space doesn't fall over. But as you can see. Look where it was made. That's why it made in the UK. On. Off. It's got two little prongs in the back. I guess I'll go into the fuse box. Pretty cool. And it sits next to my US US 90s. The 1990s one. But it's next over here we've got this. This is a um, homemade call station for the first floor the main level this is the fire service I've drew on there same buttons that are in there in fact that's the same button there's absolutely no difference in between between those two buttons next to it you have something that I made by myself nothing I made by myself this is my Otis Call station I made. Using a board of oak and a um, key switch from an old lock. And by the way, what when I mean, mean locks, this is a lock from an old um from an old 
filing cabinet, as you can see. I tried hot gluing it in, but the hot glue did fail, so I've got to glue this thing back in at some point. Anyway, it just sits in there. And see, I've put a couple of rivets to match the oak and steel, um, and steel out brackets on each side there. Aluminium rivets to match the aluminium. So yeah, this is aluminium, this is steel, this is oak, and these little rivets here, this little rivet here, yeah, it's copper. Yeah, pretty cool. I like that panel a lot. I'm so glad how that turned out. It actually looks better than some lift parts you can see now, actually. Anyway, here is the... This is actually not a... Again, it's not a lift button, but it's actually a DEL. Lifting equipment for a final fort lift and whatnot. And also garbage trucks. Turberg and Zoella use these on the back of garbage trucks. But I guess you could convert this into a lift inspection control because look, this panel's about to fall. Anyway, you could convert this into a lift panel, I guess, because this would be stop, run, or um, um, inspection, and that would be normal. You get the idea. There's a dark logo down there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like this panel a lot. And it's made out of the same sort of stuff you get on the lift inspection tool as well. Here's the back of it. It suits all the different things I've got here. So I've got the what we for eight peat fashion strip lights. US US 90 big ground button. Otis alarm button for 2000s and then twos. European style because it's concaved in there. Otis 2000 or Gen 2 ground full button, just a little green ring there. Duhurst US 90 round, the normal kind. And a US 90 round love lamps local button, which is taken apart so you can see inside. US US 90 arrow, up arrow, cool button as you can see there, and we've got my three Dewhurst US 90, 90 90s Dewhurst buttons at least, two basements and, and one full button from the 1990s, and my 1970s fuse box switch. And then we've got my um, homemade shoebox traversed call button, the dial lift and equipment, um, controls as you can see, and my homemade Otis call station, which is my favourite part of it. So what do you guys think of the display? I mean, there's more to put on this display, but as you guys can see, it looks really nice and this actually yeah, it looks like it was actually gonna go on there but there's not room for it so I can't but I always put it on display though because it's a really cool socket as well from from 2003 same year as I was born made in the same month in the same month I was born as well look see that pretty cool and it's got a very nice switch anyway, here's what looks mounts on it's mounts on my poster there custom records for me so yes that's my list part display thanks for watching and bye for now